how do you make the shadows from your 2D animation interact with the 3D world? Short answer is you add a plane in your 3D world, render your animation as a PNG sequence, then slap the PNG sequence onto the plane and you have your animation and then you just gotta set some basic materials like setting up alphas and stuff and that's it long answer is after this intro and a lot of tips are coming along with it so please stay tuned so this is the base animation so let's play it once um, and these are the layers let me just hide all of them and let's, let's look at that so this is the rough animation this is the base animation for all, all of the stuff going on with it um, yeah so this is very basic and then this is follow through layer uh, so all the clothes and hair if there was any ponytail for that girl that would go, go on this layer and then we have a cleanup layer and then we have the color layer so that's the animation so for the for the blender user users um, you gotta make this transparent so in order to make uh, this transparent you have to go to a render tab or render properties tab then you click on this film thing and and check this transparent mark this one and please remember to keep the aspect ratio one by one because um, when you're importing the animation to your 3d scene um, you can uh, there's a higher chance of making it uh, stretch out um, if it's not not this aspect ratio um, or, or that's what I, I have found I'm not sure so I, I recommend keeping it one by one so that's it now if you press control F12 that animation will be rendered and you'd have a PNG sequence and on to the 3d scene so this is the basic layout of the scene without any lighting and stuff and this is the our, our main thing the hero of this video this is the plane this is the plane and our animation is going to go on this one so let's take a look at its materials so if we go to shading tab and this is the plane isolated so as you can see uh, this node represents the PNG sequence and I have set it to cyclic which means it will loop endlessly and this is auto refresh so this this button is only for viewport if you check this this is the thing the animation is playing but it's not auto refreshing as much so that's the difference and then for the material you add the principal PSDF and you add the color into the base color or emission whatever you want and then you uh, put the alpha into alpha and that's the material and for the scene layout and lighting um, let's go to rendered mode so the the lighting setup is very simple we have this uh, sun lamp which is a warmer color and it's not that in intense and the word um, if you go to material view the word is very uh, a cooler environment so it's I think it's blue yeah so this is the blue part of it and that's the basic setup and the other interesting thing in in the in this scene is that these outlines so for newer versions of blender um, 2.9 and higher you can just click on the on, a, on an object press shift a and go to grease pencil and then object line art so this will do the rest of the things for you and you can adjust the outline thickness and everything else but for the older versions for like 2.8 you'd have to um, make two materials one for the for the base like the color of the object and the other one is for the color of the outline and then you go to uh, modifiers add a solidify modifier and um, you flip the normals and set the material offset to 1 so uh, this will be 0 and 1 yeah so that's the thing and that's the thing, uh, thing is done so if you play the animation yeah, everything is interacting so like so this is the scene and yeah that's the basic animation um, if you change the lighting and stuff the scene will react to the changes in the light um so um if like you might ask the question that that why did I use a grease the grease pencil object instead of this plane 
um, simply because Grease pencil and does not um, interact with the shadows from the 3D scene so that's the whole pack yeah but that works as well so not only in Blender you can do this in, a, in any other software and the final part is compositing so if you go to the compositing tab oh yeah I got it's recording <laughs> for a moment I thought it's not recording and I'll be doomed so if we render a single animation so um, as I said before there there's no sky or anything the scene is itself is transparent using the uh, same technique going to render properties tab and film then checking it transparent because I, I went to do the sky in the compositing stage so you can just use the sky texture in the compositing so I use alpha over node to, to put this render layer over the sky layer and this is just basic compositing and this is for vignette yeah I, I, I finally remember this so this is the vignette part I have a list ellipse mask and then I just blurred it so if I uh, disable this you can see the difference yeah, it directs uh, your eye toward the character and yeah that's it so that's the whole animation and yeah so if you have any questions or anything you can ask in the comments or if I don't uh, respond you can DM me um, you ha if you have any suggestions you can follow the same steps comment or DM me yeah so yeah, that's it thank you for watching